All right, tabletop basketball gamers, I have the unboxing video of Computer Basketball by Wayne Wisco. I have opened this box. I have not really dug into it, so this is all pretty much new to me, and I don't really know how to play this game yet, so this will be mostly just pulling out the parts and see what kind of goodies we have in here. This box should contain the 1971, 72, and 73 NBA seasons, 10 cards per team, in addition to 10 all-time teams. So let's just take a look and see what is in computer basketball. Of course, it's by CSG Computer Sports Games of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Of course, I lived in Waukesha, Wisconsin for a couple years as a younger child. Side note. Anyway, you open the box and instantly you see on the inside of the box are the rebounding charts. That shadow out there. Um, yeah, a rebounding chart. Uh, the, the defensive card charts for the guards and then the uh, forwards and the center. So there's your defensive ratings one through four for each one of those guys. So that's pretty good. You can force players into traveling violations. You can steal the ball. You can foul them. There's an injury chart which ranges from two minutes of playing time to multiple games, 12 games. Remainder of the game, remainder of the half. Kind of interesting chart work there, rebound chart which will be used often. You just have a bunch of rebound battles it looks like here versus your rebounding opponent. So we'll see how that works. Oh, you can even get a, another jump ball off the rebound. It's a rare chance, but it's possible. Got six columns. All be activated by the dice. So anyway, that is the back cover of the computer basketball board game sheet. This box has just a little bit of age on it, just a little minor stain here and there, but otherwise the box is in really pretty good condition. It's just 50 years old, and that's where it's been sitting around for a long time. So let's take a look inside the box, and of course I get a nice personal note from Wayne, hoping I enjoy the game and the teams and all the fun stuff that's in this package. So. I will be saving that for future filing. And here we go. Uh, we have a whole bunch of cards here. And it looks like he put them in 73, 72 season, and original 70, 71, which does not have the name on the, the year of the season. That's not a problem. We can, by process of elimination, we can figure that out. So anyway, there were 17 teams, and you got Lou Hudson of the Hawks. This is what the cards look like. I don't know what I can do to make this easier. Um, yeah, Sweet Lou, depending on the A. Oh, I'm already forgetting. One's guarded inside, one's guarded outside, one's unguarded inside and unguarded outside. So if you get an A or B, that's what you want, the C and D. You're less guarded, so that's kind of how those cards work. In addition to the shooting of 550, that's relative to the number of shots that he takes versus teammates. Uh, he's got rebounding ratings at two positions. He's a forward one and a guard one, which is the best defense. I didn't know Lou was a super defender, but maybe in his prime, uh, this Hawks team won a lot of games. So I think the better your team is, the better defensive rating a lot of your players will get. So anyway, I'm going to pull off more 71s. Yeah, there's, there's Lou. Lou's looking pretty white. He must have been a fresh card. So there's Lou. And the card stock isn't too bad. Um, we got all the greats. Wes Unseld, the Dipper. Rebound of 41, which is less than rebounding of 43 for Wes Unseld, which isn't surprising to me, but I guess Wilt plays every minute of every game. Got Hondo Havlicek of the Celtics, who had started to rebound into a, a good club again after Bill Russell retired. 
Got all these 71 season cards. Jimmy J.J. Walker. Got all kinds of good players. Len Wilkins, Bob Love. So anyway, that is, that's a lot of a card. So that's, uh, I believe, 17 teams. There should be an expansion Blazers, I guess, if it's 71. There's the Sonics, Braves. Yeah, the Braves are there. There's the Blazers. Yep, my hometown. Leroy Ellis. There's Walt Frazier, 71. Knicks were no slouches. They didn't win at all, but they were good. Anyway, we got 72 here. And they're all kind of sticking together. They were packed really well and snugly by Wayne. Jerry West of the Lakers. Holy cow, yeah. So Jerry's a guard defense too. So I don't know. That Laker team, uh, 72 Lakers were pretty darn amazing. 69 wins and 33 wins in a row. So oh. all the cards are sticking to them. Are slipped into each other. Okay, there we go. Knicks. 72 Knicks were really good as well. Injuries kind of just hurt them. The 72 Celtics were competitive. 72 Braves weren't, but they they were only a second year team there. So anyway, then we got 73. Al Moore Smith. I think there's a rookie Bob McAdoo in there. So you can play young Bob McAdoo. Um, here is the worst team in the on the planet. That's the Sixers of 73. There's the Celtics of 73. By contrast, that team won 68 games. There's Hondo Havlicek. So anyway, we're getting th through all the cards, just checking them out very briefly. Rick Barry, my favorite player, returned to the NBA with the Golden State Warriors. That free throw shooting is pretty good. That's 1 to 23 out of 25. So if you do the math, it's about 92%. So that's about where he was at. Although I might use the 3 10 sided die mechanism to do free throws because you got his free throw percentage right on the card, which is kind of cool. All the stats are there. You take 3 10 sided die, just make one of each, then, you, then you're in good shape. So, anyway, getting back to the box. We got a whole bunch of other fun stuff. We got uh, Golden State Warriors regular offense. And that's for 72. This must be 71 because there's nothing on there. The Warriors press defense. So you got your team cards. And you'll either be playing off the offensive cards or the defensive cards at various times. Um, I've also got a bunch of sheets here. Looks like Computer Sports Game Company gave me a sheet in case I want to purchase a set for $4.45. 73 season. There you go. Great deal. And there it is. There's the new letter. Here's the letter with the letterhead. Look at that. That's so computer graphic. That's such a computer graphic. In, in uh, Winona, Minnesota. And that's where they were originally from. Look at that. You can buy selector sets. Stratomatic did that with, still does that with baseball. You buy a certain number of teams for a lower price. I got rosters for the 72 teams in case I mix them up, even though they're all labeled. Uh, 73 roster. I remember 74. The 74 roster, which is interesting to me. And the old time team roster. 70 Knicks. Sixers are there. Celtics. A lot of rosters there. Rule changes for 73. Free throws are no longer shot for the first four fouls of each quarter. So interesting. Rules. Supplemental rules for offensive fouls, technical fouls. Rules of play. Oh, this is the eight-page document. My favorite part of the document is if you have any questions, um, they'll be answered promptly. Send your questions with your name and address and return postage to Computer Sports Game Company. So unlike an email or a fast 
Facebook message, your questions will be answered promptly via U.S. mail. So anyway, I just found that funny and a sign of the time. So the base of the box looks like it is the tame, the the time uh, the timing mechanism, which is mostly in 10 second increments here. And then you put your defensive cards, say here, offensive cards right there, and you do it for offense, visiting and home teams. So that's an original game feature. But besides this board here, I believe we've got more stuff. Oh, yes. So there's our offensive and defensive cards for... 1972-73, so we got the whole set of those. We've also got all-time teams, including the 55 Nationals, the Dipper, and the Philadelphia should have been Warriors of 1962. One of the few errors I've er found early in Wayne's computing there, but um, easy mistake. They were actually the Philadelphia Warriors, became the San Francisco Warriors. Uh, the Nats became the 76ers, but that's okay. We know who they are. We know Wilt's going to put in 50 points a game for that 62 Warrior Club. We got the Dipper on the 67 76ers. They were actually the 76ers then, 68 and 13. We got our little, little, uh, cute little draft card draw cards so you can shoot free throws with the CSG logo 1 to 25 for free throws and then more more weird cards for possibly dra draw cards as well uh, 20 nameless cards so it looks like um, you can create your own cards you can peek in there Blank cards. Always fun to make your own cards. And this looks like one of the original brochures. Computer basketball. Dear fan. Computer Game Company takes great pride in introducing its entirely new computer basketball game. So And so on. Faux signature of Wayne right there. So that's cool. This is the one we've had displayed on Facebook's group. The general gist of the game right there. A nice glossy brochure. Way back in the early 70s. That's a piece of memorabilia put in my game museum. And here's a few more of the old-time teams. There's Russell. A rebound of 49. That must be pretty dang good. Pettit to 47 for the 58 Hawks. They beat the Celtics, I think, in that final. Because Russell had turned his ankle... Elgin Baylor, 63 Lakers. I can't remember what he averaged that year. 34 a game. Oh, yeah, that's good. 34 and about 20 rebounds or something like that, or whatever it was. Zelmo Beatty of the Hawks of 68. Rookie of the Year, Wesley Unseld of the 69 Bullets. And the 60 Celtics, which were just probably a very good team. Finally, we're getting down to the bottom of the box. Oh, we got more, more, uh, oh, greatest teams, offensive cards, defensive cards. Um, oh my goodness, what is this? Oh God, I can't even open it with one hand. There's our dice, an original set of dice. So that's cool, they're good size dice. Let's see, do they still roll? They appear to work. Still ticking after 50 years. So anyway, I've got, Score sheets. A little bit of yellowing on them, but there's Form A. If you like that type of score sheet, probably gave me about 10 or 15 of those. Oh, this is a big pad of score sheets. Look at this thing. This is a nice solitaire score sheet. Look at that thing. Holy cow. That is a piece of history right there. That's that's nice. So anyway, this is what you get. Um, $100. Uh, you're Newer reprints of his will not have the game box. He'll probably have some printouts for the for the um, 
possessions and the rebounds and the injury charts and the time charts but he will not you will not be getting a big box like the original one here but uh, it sure is a throwback it's really really awesome to see some of this old stuff so I thank Wayne for that just to compare a card in computer basketball here's a 73 Fred Carter versus a hoops 1970 71 card generated by Mark and his team on the hoops tabletop basketball there's the FACs we have no FACs over here it's just team offensive cards and a few charts but hoops doesn't have any charts really so it's a kind of a trade-off but there's the Hawk nice shiny card generated in modern times and here's the typed card that is actually really pretty good stock of card and in pretty good condition comparing out with fast break by Jim Mickey there's the player determination cards a Kareem card with offense and defense and a team fast break card just threw that in there for the sake of it but anyway it shows you the difference uh, the similarities and the differences this is all pretty much an offensive card for computer basketball where this has defensive columns and that has a separate defensive card so it's a little transition a transformation pretty interesting stuff though for this I can't wait to get into it and learn the game a little bit it doesn't seem that it's that difficult the instructions say that it's not <laughs> so let's find out uh, anyway this is what we got we got a we got a really classic game here with a lot of good good players and uh, as Kevin Hennessy said it's the, the game flows reasonably well has a couple little dice tactics that are a little bit stratomatic like as far as playing on the offense or the defensive card so I'm looking forward to this and I appreciate you guys joining me for this video and um, my next one may be fairly soon on computer basketball although I have a, a vacation to take and I'm not sure if I'm going to take this beautiful little basketball game on the road I almost want to keep it at home and preserve it like like it is like it's mint so anyway I can't wait for you guys to get your game and see what you eventually uh, come up with as far as game results or game plays or uh, fixes if there's anything that's really not perfect but uh, every game has got a little different bit of character and this one certainly does have a lot of character uh, this is just a, a, a treat this is a thrill for me to uh, share this and I hope uh, you guys enjoy this video and uh, anyway happy gaming and we'll be in touch game on